all life is here now. Five words, five short words. All life is here now. Should have got a piece of paper out and uh, seen how many symbols, how many letters were actually involved. And um, four. All life is here now. There's four digits in one of the words. There's two in another, two in another, three in another, and three in the other one. All life is here now. That's what is. That is all there is. Life is all there is. So the question would then be, what is life specifically, exactly? Is life an experience? What is an experience? Isn't experience only observation? There is most certainly being though. There are no words for being. The minute, the moment one tries or attempts or applies words to the experience that being is it stops being and becomes observation. Now, <clears throat> what was it I was told? Being is not an experience, it is a state. The state of being would be the experience that being is. And therefore it becomes an observation once again. Epistemology. It's an interesting word now, epistemology. My <coughs> definition manual says the philosophical theory of knowledge from Greek episteme, knowledge. The philosophical theory of knowledge. What does that actually mean? The Heidel. The avoidance of the understanding that there is only life and we are it. All life moves, breathes and cycles or can cycle, as I haven't cycled yet. I'm currently considering my understanding of experience, what is experience. And it appears experience is merely observation. Your emotions, feelings, they're all observations. Pain's an observation. In the being, there is no pain in being until you observe the being, and then the being might observe it is in pain, though then it is an observation and it isn't being. My intention is to get some clarity in my presentation for future interaction with Corey and his crew, let's call it. And what's interesting is I get more views when I put responses to Corey's videos. That's not what I'm about really. I'm not looking for support. <coughs> I'm not looking for, what's the word? representation, not looking to represent anything actually. I'm here on YouTube interacting with YouTubers chewing over the cud. I unsubscribed from Corey's um, channel last week and then went into a number channel I have which still has a subscription and found René Descartes versus Alan Watts. The mind, <coughs> I think, therefore I am. <coughs> Get an understanding of the mind and its multi-dimensional aspects. 
and 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 I uh, currently can't strict more about that because I haven't done my homework though I have found that there is a free course about such things the destiny I process I'll put a link in the box for anyone that's really really truly interested in understanding the nature of existential reality that we exist within and as because that's where I'm at though I have been contemplating considering experiencing the experience that life could be said to be from an observational perspective for a number of years in fact how many years um, a number of years a number that's uh, ambiguous Anthony you've been challenging the ambiguity that is in the philosophical perspectives given what year is it 2012 at least five years it's not a long time is it a tenth of my existential experience in this body being I've only experienced being fleetingly and there were no words whatsoever and I contend that there are no words to expound being it's something one can only experience but the word experience is from something one can only observe then though then that wouldn't be being words are not necessarily the problem because I fully understand that without them how do we interactively express our considerations and experiences our observations all life is here now <coughs> That's why I find is the important aspect of reconsidering all life is here now and the consequences of that which we do consequentially affect the experience that we have consequentially affect the observations we make sort of uh, problematic the word experience is problematic I need to get a full understanding of the word experience and then the full understanding of it is that words cannot convey truly the understanding the being Thanks, Corey. I like your considerations. I like your work. Though, isn't it all just about avoidance, really? Avoiding facing the reality that all life is here now and that which we do affects all and everything within and as the existential reality that we exist within and as. Carpush Kalnala.